It's a remarkable story that we showed you yesterday on 7 News at 11. This Iraqi war veteran who had lost all four of his limbs in an explosion received arm transplants. The surgery worked and so well that it's been a topic of discussion for many of us this week. While liver, kidney, and heart transplants are relatively familiar to us, the ability to transplant limbs and faces is relatively new, and it raises many questions. Just remarkable story. So we've asked Dr. Diane McAllister, the chief medical officer at uh, Centura's Porter Adventist Hospital, to spend some time with us uh, discussing the science behind what's really a remarkable, to me, uh, transplant uh, situation. Yes, this is incredible. It's really taking two different veins of medical research and combining them. So for years, people have been working on limb preservation. In fact, we have a center here in Denver where when people sever their arm or leg off, they reattach it so that it functions. At the same time, the transplant teams have been developing all the other organ transplants you mentioned. And here we take those two sciences and put them together into uh, one man and with remarkable results. Yeah. yeah. So to say it's complicated surgery is putting it mildly. What are some of the problems that surgeons would encounter in this kind of a surgery? So from the limb preservation standpoint, for years they've been attaching people's own limbs onto their arms. But here we have, they have to attach the arteries and the nerves and the muscles and the soft tissues together. And here we're expecting this man had his own nerves grow and attach and become functional with the nerves in the transplanted arms so that they can work. At the same time, um, there's all the complications of uh, our bodies like to reject any organ that, or any tissue that doesn't belong to us. It's how it keeps us safe. Yeah. So how do the transplant surgeons prevent that uh, body rejecting it uh, and that whole immune reaction that sometimes can kill the tissue? Yeah, it's a very complicated science. So there's three major things they do. One is we each have a blood type, A, B, or O, and then we're either positive or negative. So they match those. And then there's something on each of our cells called HLA tissue antigens that help our immune system know which cells are our own. And you have to try to match the donor and the recipient on that level. And then, because there's no perfect match, there's drugs that they give that help suppress the immune system so it's less likely to attack the attached organ or limb in this case. Yeah. I heard a couple of the doctors discussing it this morning, a couple of the surgeons that worked on this case, and they expect even more phenomenal progress in this young patient. He's only 26 years old, I believe. Right. You know, the, the nerves over time, when you have damaged nerves, they continue to heal. And then he should gather um, more strength as he learns how to use that, those new limbs to move around. It's really just fantastic for yeah, him. Yeah, that's great news. All right, Dr. Diane, thank well, you. We thanks. appreciate it. If you want to learn more about this, we've got uh, much more on our website. Just check out the denverchannel.com.